Hi, this is Tim. And this is Queen. And I'm Andy. And today we're going to continue playing with magnets. You recall from Wendell and I's eddy current experiment, when you drop a magnet through a roll of aluminum foil, it slows down as it goes through. Also for my control panel guys that are out there, if you take a piece of aluminum DIN rail, you can do the same thing. You see, it goes a lot slower. Hey Wendell, will you take that magnet back off? <laughs> so what we're going to do today is we're going to take the contactor coil out of a contactor, which is a winding of copper. Now, if you don't have a contactor coil around, get you some of this um, magnetic wire or some of this coated wire. It's just great for a lot of experiments. I'll put a link to some of it in the description. Now we're gonna pop this contactor out and inside you're going to find a little copper coil like this. Wendell, <laughs> where is my magnet? So what I'm thinking is that we should be able to take a small LED between this copper coal and when we drop a magnet through it, we should see it light up a little bit. That's my thought anyway. Thank you, Wendell. Michael, you want to drop it through and see what we get? Of course. Ooh. Oh. Did you see that? Yes, it flickered. It flickered. Let's, let's try it again. Ooh. Here, get on up here. Come on up here, kids. Here, do that again, Michael. Yeah, so the moment that that magnet, it's not that it comes in contact with it, because really you can lay it down and touch it and nothing happens. But if it moves by it, well, it doesn't work that way. Okay, so this is an extension of Wendell's eddy current experiment. And that one, we were dropping it down and it was slowing down because it was displacing electrons. Well, we're displacing electrons here too. Only in this case, we have like, I don't know how much wire is in here, but it's probably like 500 foot of wire wrapped around this coal. And so, as <laughs> Wendell has us a second magnet now. So as you move the uh, magnet, by this wire, you get that same displacement of electrons. <laughs> or what do you think? Do you know how it works? It's just why. Why? Why? Why is science? Why? So did you understand this part? <laughs> it makes no sound. That's what scares me. It's like because it's making an eddy current in there of electrons. So those electrons are getting displaced as it goes down. Same thing with the DIN rail. Now, I believe we can take our scope. Ow! Well, that's what you get for playing with the magnets when you're not supposed to. <laughs> All right, try it, Michael. All right, so yeah, we are seeing something. We're still out of range on it. Let me let me change the range on this. So, let's see, let's go. Let's go to two volt. Now let's try it. Uh-oh. All right, try it one more time. Oh, there it is. Yeah, we got it there. Do it again, buddy. All right. There is a delay in it. I guess that's in my time base. But okay, so we do. There it goes. So every time we drop it through there, this is an oscilloscope. And so it is checking, it is recording this voltage in these split second times where we're dropping it through. And... So if we could make this, if Michael could do this really fast, then we could actually produce enough electricity to do something. You gotta go faster, man. Faster, faster. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> so especially for my control friends out there who may, you know, pull out a bad contactor, usually if a contactor is bad, it's gonna actually be one of the contacts in it. Usually the coals in them are still good. So this is a fun experiment. Get you a, you know, really low voltage, cheap LED and the coal. And yeah, when you drop it through, you'll produce that little bit of electricity. And that's the principle of how electricity is generated. What is it then? Tell me about it. So I think that the charges inside the coil are being pulled towards the magnet and a magnet, once it lets go, pushes the electrons far and fast enough to create and create amps going through the light to create electricity and light. If you were to straighten this out, this is a long piece of copper wire. And it has a fixed amount of electrons in it. 
So when the magnet, and I think our next video, we're gonna actually talk about the right hand rule because that is really what causes all this. But so what you're doing is when the magnet goes by them, it's displacing those electrons just for the time it's passing by them. And you can actually see that on the scope. Let's do that again, Wendell. Pull that scope back up here. I didn't realize that at the time, but if you watch this, watch closely up here, Michael. Does it go this way? You got your magnet. It's under Wendell. If you notice, it's not all positive, actually positive and then negative. See there? So it's more like almost a wave. So for a second it's positive and then it's negative. And so what those electrons are doing is you're right, they're getting pushed out of the way and then they're coming back. And while those electrons are moving through this LED, it illuminates them. What else y'all got? I love electricity. Make sure to subscribe to Tim Wilborn's channel and also subscribe to Queen and Andy's channel, link in the description. Uh, make sure to turn on the bell for both channels and click all. Follow Tim Wilborn on social media. <laughs> Till next time. Queen and Andy saves the day. <laughs> oh yeah, so off. guess what we learned today at lunch? What did we learn at lunch today? We learned that a vacuum was created inside of a bowl. And the reason why is because oxygen molecules, when they heat up, they expand. But when you put it in the fridge, then it compresses. It compresses the oxygen compresses. molecules, makes it smaller. Vacuum! Yes. So there's a lot of science you can be finding around your house right now. Hi, this is Till. And this is Amber of TW Controls. We run the automation store. Hey, thanks for finding our channel. Here's a playlist with some similar videos. And YouTube thinks you'll like this video. Please like our video and subscribe to our channel. And if our videos have helped you make some money and you're not using our products, please consider supporting us on Patreon. Till next time. See ya.